watching it. Sorry guys, I, anyone's watching this, hopefully not. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how to share the goddamn link. Okay, great. Here it is. Now we'll go to Again, sorry if anyone actually is watching this, I'm just uh, doing it all by myself, so, oh, my own cha, -cha. Also need to open a WhatsApp link. Still. Oh my gosh, who's watching? <laughs> Hi, whoever you are. I'm sorry, this is just me trying to figure out how to, you know, do social media stuff. And I just need to share the link once more. And we'll start the game. Just allow me a second, guys. God dang it. I know. Oh my gosh, I can do the dashboard on my phone. I, I'm not gonna do that. My phone's 
way too old and way too silly to do this. Oh my gosh, I... Oh my gosh! work that way so I'm gonna have to do it on my phone which means I can start the game hello everyone we're here I'm Javier I'm your internet friend I'm here playing world of horror it's a pretty cute game if you haven't heard about it before what the heck are you doing with your life uh, it's not showing on the stream, why not? Why isn't it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. And yeah, guys, I'm just uh, finishing sharing the links for here for this, and um, I don't know. Uh, again, if you guys are watching, do you want to do something on special? I was just probably gonna do a bunch of customizable ones and. And you know, just generally suck at it. I'm so bad at this game, you guys. It's not that difficult to be honest, it's just that I'm really, really bad at it. I'm, I don't know why. Um, well, I don't know why, I just don't have any <laughs> respect for the characters and I love watching them go fucking insane. Okay, just allow me a second. Uh, of course, uh, uh, just a warning here. I swear a lot. Uh, it's just uh, you know a crutch for my bad English, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is me, guys, and hopefully we are gonna have a lot of fun today, or at least a moderate amount of fun. Just allow me a second. Okay, and those are all the links that I needed to share. Now let's see here. Um, yeah, again, I'm not sure what, uh, guys, what did you want to play? Again, just, we're just gonna do some custom runs. City of Shiokawa, Japan, 1980X. Something strange is happening in our town. Robed figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but are also new unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch, be eldritch beings, who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. Armed with clues, spells, and your own dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Mm -hmm. 
Spooky, spooky. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you've finally arrived in the doomed town. And I don't know who to play with, guys. Um, again, if someone's out there on the voice, um, who's your favorite? Did you guys actually uh, play any of this? If you guys have played this game before, again, it's a, it's a complete, it's a, an amazing game, to be honest. I really, really love it. Again, I'm terrible at it, like I'm so bad at it, but you know, you, you'll see. <laughs> Just allow me a moment. Okay, uh, I love Kiri. I don't think I've ever completed a game with her. Also, I'm just gonna do initiate because I suck at this game. Aiko, she was my favorite before I discovered any of the other extra characters. Uh, she's fucking amazing. Her dexterity thing, her dexterity plus saves you so much uh, my favorite is this one Haru because he's you know he's a hunk and you know me I love me a hunk and the thing is that the uh, nicotine thing that can get in the way sometimes but you know you deal uh, Mizuki is nice also, starting with an ally, it's really nice sometimes. Yeah. Koji, the thing with the camera, it's useful, it's not as useful as you hope it would be, it would be but you know. Um, na -na 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 -na. Sorry, I'm, I'm just looking at my phone, I'm trying to uh, see here the you know the stream manager thing but um okay here it is okay we can put this down now is the game too loud though are, are you guys able to hear me uh hopefully you guys are able to hear me i don't really have any idea of how the audio sounds right now it should be way better than before because last time that I tried to stream here sorry I'm just gonna put down the game audio a little bit lower just to be sure uh, Mimi it's fucking amazing also she starts with uh, a lot of medical history things and Miku is also awesome she starts with a lot of um, I think she does have a, a bat when she starts, but you know, she just mainly, uh, the thing, the good thing about her is the doom boost, because I, I do, you know, you know me, I love to rile uh, an Aldrich being, so having the doom boost, it's really nice. And Moriko, I actually just unlocked her uh, a while ago. I really haven't played with her that much. The shotgun is nice, but I don't really like using, uh, you know, guns on this game. Ammo, it's not that common and it's not cheap. So, yeah. Uh, we're gonna do extra options, timeline A, yes, now we use all unlocked perks, 
we prioritize new content and the item static yeah that stuff because you can get really really bad things with that I don't think I have well, I do have endless but let's just do classic mode and yeah here are my boyfriends the old gods uh, we have Takoratsu Atoratsu Katak Atoratsu Atorasu Katak Atorasu the spider god the terrible spider god Katak Atorasu it's is once again awakening from its slumber binded by the it's impossible to satisfy hunger it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison prison I can speak English, I swear. I actually work at that and my job is speaking English all day. Uh, Hitotu, the devouring fire. Ah, this one's my favorite. Well, I love all of them, to be honest. Uh, the the Eldritch Gods are just really, really cool. But, you know, uh, this supposed cause of destruction of the Library of Alexandria a perfect black marble statue has been recently discovered and is currently waiting in the Museum of U for its long-awaited premiere. By the way, I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's zero, zero, zero. I just say U. But yeah, cute. Um, oh my gosh, Monse. One of my friends is texting me on, on WhatsApp. I have to answer this. Uh, Af Jolatsut. Jolatsut. The Thawai Nai. This one's really nice. Uh, the Mad God favors astronomers and magicians, grant granting them its gift of power that unknowingly brings Af Jolatsut's uh, bloated, blo bloated body closer and closer to Earth. By the way, I am pretty much halfway on a, a way, ooh, way more than halfway on a bottle of wine. So I'm a little tipsy, you know, just in case this is, you know, terrible. I mean, it's still going to be terrible. Um, uh, this computer, it's, it's my monolith, it's my love, but, you know, it's just not as powerful as I would prefer. That was water, I swear. <laughs> okay, just allow me a moment. I'm distracted here with my phone. By the way, if you guys listen to you know, my notifications here on stream, I'm sorry about that. I do have my browsers open. And, you know, I just... Oh my god, month is coming! Okay, back to stream manager. And the last one, Goizo, the thing forsaken by God. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago, Goizo has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight to the uh, straight to the glass. And the glimpses behind your reflections are just the beginning of a real nightmare. I like playing Goizo. I like Itothu because I mean the damage increase is just fun. And yeah, I mean, we're, we're gonna wait a little, see if anyone else joins in. 
and if someone joins in and wants to tell me who they want to see and chat Hola Yuki <laughs> Ah And that's why I have to do it on the phone Hehehe <laughs> Okay uh, we're playing World of Horror it's a fun game. We are a handsome teenager uh, trying to fight back uh, an Eldritch God trying to destroy reality and you know just be mean and we have we can choose our opponent actually we have Ktaka Atorasu the spider god we have Itho to the devouring fire Ad Jolats, the Towering Eye, and Goiso, the thing forsaken by God. We're gonna do Goiso. He's the easier one. I like Kitaka Torasu also, but the thing that you can run from combat, it's really bad, especially with ghosts, since you can actually damage ghosts. And you can do the little spell thing, but it, it never really works and also thank you Monse for following me on Twitch thank you thank you um, I'm probably gonna stream a little bit more often on Twitch now uh, because it's fun and because I discovered that I actually can <laughs> and yeah it's gonna be fun um, you know the uh, Goizo he does things you uh, if you rest at home it raises your doom your doom it's like the, um, the uh, it's here it's the amount of closeness how close is the elder god of uh, reaching reality or stuff like that uh, the lowest uh, the lowest you have to doom it's better because as if your doom gets really high the events get really really uh, dangerous and you know really silly and yeah the thing forsaken by God vanished to the other dimension long ago Goiso has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are just the beginning also it has these really cool uh, special events when you look at yourself at the mirror sometimes and yeah, this is my character. He's not, he's cool. He's hot, and that's why he's cool. I'm pretty sure on real life he would be a jerk, but you know, I like me a jerk. And yeah, this thing, the nicotine addiction, it's not nice. Right now we have nicotine withdrawal that makes our actions slower. But that means that whenever we try to attack someone or uh, do something, it's going to take longer and that, you know, affects you. And the... Na, 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 na. Oh. Uh, we have the cigarettes. You can use them to get one reason and get rid of the nicotine withdrawal. But um, you have to buy them constantly from the shop. And I'm not made of money, guys. I only have five monies. Uh, I, uh, the, the cool thing is that he has nice strength and dexterity. Perception also. His knowledge is shit. His uh, charisma is nice. 
uh, anything below five it's terrible five it's terrible you don't want to have anything that low uh, we uh, this city is changing so fast you can barely recognize it anymore we can choose uh, which type of stores are available the vending machine I never use it the occult shop it's nice because you can sometimes get really good weapons from it uh, the normal shop it's really nice uh, hopefully we'll get to see it real soon so I can show you the the nice uh, things about it uh, the library the schoolyard the hospital I never use the pharmacy uh, but you know it's fine uh, this one I'm probably gonna use the illegal den this time the monument is nice because you can lower your doom sometimes but um, it's just not that important on this on this special uh, run it's not you know vital the hardware shop it's the uh, the really good one the really good shop you always want this one because you need you get all your weapons from here and they are not that expensive the witch tree I only used it once uh, it wasn't that nice to be honest but yeah uh, we're gonna confirm and continue we check you check our mailbox and it's empty and this is the nice boy he's hot he's cute we check his drawer to get an empty bottle this is the best item in the in the entire game you can use empty bottles for anything uh, we're gonna take a bath we're gonna fill a bottle with water see you can use it anywhere and we're gonna take a warm water bath because it gives us a small experience boost and we're also gonna go here we look at the mirror we're looking good of course you are uh, we click on this little robot you get one extra money from here I'm not sure if that actually grows if you just leave it there for the duration of the game I'm gonna try that once uh, we can change our clothes here samurai nice uh, this is a normal jacket the bar roll this is my favorite one and he cute the mafia one the t-shirt uh, bar roll again it's my favorite one and we're gonna take a peek outside there's nothing weird except the weird wobbly image of outside inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now you've been marked you've marked down five of them hoping that there is something connecting them you can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want beware your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries again I'm terrible at this game <laughs> I'm really really bad at it um, I do have I there is not a single mystery that I think I have unlocked now that I haven't actually beaten um, still I'm I'm really bad at this game you guys you're gonna see uh, we have horrible history of household hell this one's really nice uh, worrying write-up of wordless word I don't remember this one that much I have finished it though uh, spine chilling story of school scissors this one's the like the base the most basic one John you don't get it all the time but if you get it it's probably the easiest one you're gonna get I'm probably not gonna get this one first because I do need a weapon to fight the uh, you know uh, not spoil no not to spoil anything sorrowful saga of Moonlit sailors this one's really really nice I don't think I actually need a, a weapon for this one especially if I can get the good ending sorry um, 
again I'm drinking wine so I'm hippie and uh, I think I'm gonna do that one first but let's see the other one Far Out Fable of Fear Festival this one's really nice I've never gotten the the third ending the C ending I'm not completely sure what you have to do to get it but you know uh, we're go also gonna do that uh, we're probably gonna do Moonlight Sailors first if we get a weapon here we're gonna do School Scissors then Fear Festival then uh, Worldless World and uh, Household Hell that's if we survive also Sometimes you, well, if you activate it, you get this tranquilizing tell of the Twilight TV Terror. This is an easy mode <laughs> kind of a thing. Uh, you, uh, it's really, really hard to get hurt on this one. And if you do it right, you get, I think, a lot of experience. I would do it normally you know just because it's easier but I really want you guys to see that I'm terrible at this game also yeah the game does that sometimes it's again it's like an 8-bit bait game so you know the audio is super compressed and it sometimes does uh, the, the really loud things but yeah it's it's really nice you're, you're gonna see it's really fun a uh, sorrowful saga of moonlight sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean, a dark writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. Ooh, cute. You start your investigation, hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. And oh, I forgot about this one. Um, if you. Uh, make these extra uh, missions or during the um, during the game you get uh, usually the better endings um, I probably will discard the cigarettes because again I could use them and get uh, the nicotine the nicotine would roll off but it's gonna come back in a co in the next mystery again, I think, and it's just not worth it. So I just discard them, and we go now to the oh, and it shows you here which area you are supposed to investigate. Uh, we investigate downtown. On downtown, we have the the shops. Uh, we're gonna go shopping real. Uh, real fast, especially because we have to say hi to the doggy. Hi, doggy, I love you. And we get the compass. These ones are really nice item. You uh, get two points of experience for each investigated location, it helps you level up real fast. And we're probably also gonna get the flashlight or the stagnite. Uh, how much is it uh, the flashlight and we're gonna go to the uh, the ritual dagger I don't have enough F and I don't have enough to, I don't have the discount item thing Ugh, I'm sorry We're gonna equip the compass and equip the flashlight because we get one perception for it and we get extra experience and we're gonna start investigating downtown. Uh, if I'm on a pinch, I'm probably gonna have to discard my bottle. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the, play in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can find her mommy. Luckily, you spot, you spot the girl's address on the backpack lying nearby. Um, 
This one's really fun. Uh, we're gonna take her home. Uh, you offered to take her home. When you get there, the terrified mother slams the door in your face. From behind the door, she starts screaming to get the girl away. The little girl calmly tells you that she can take it from here. You lose two stamina, but you get ten experience. <laughs> Cute. The little girl was a ghost. And although you break the stench of four hours, you clean nothing besides the fact that fishermen had a wife. That that is a little. You glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Uh, perhaps you should pay her a visit. And we're gonna go back to uh, investigate downtown. They say a ghost of a heartbroken boy appears on the street at night. Is it just an urban legend or is it uh, or is there some truth to this tale? I don't have the holy candle, so I could have bought it on the occult shop. Damn it. Uh, we're gonna spend the night here. Oh, we got a success. Perfect. Oh, it, it is a strength check. Great. I'd wait an entire night observing the spot where the supposed ghost would appear, but nothing happens. You are relieved it's just a rumor. Uh, when you have certain items, you can access uh, special um, events that change the the events sometime and it's it's really fun sometimes uh, we're gonna go investigate the mansion now okay uh, when you arrive at the fisherman's house it stands long vacated peering in, in through the dusty window you recall in shock why though okay Investigate mansion. We don't have anything on storage, right? Yes. Investigate mansion. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, run-down mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and has only two doors, one of which you came through. You can see the stranger man, the strange man anymore. Uh, you can live through the other room, or you can search the room. I always search the room because you get nice items. There's nothing really important here, but you would think you might be able to use the one item you do find. Uh, we get another empty bottle and we're gonna go ahead and discard this to get the, the extra uh, mission. You find a huge pile of nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe that will, that will stop them from sailing out. And you get into the mansion and the fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen. Mutilated and covered with black marks. Cute. Oh yeah, you can see her. Cute. Ah, oh, good. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eating black velvet in an old locket cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recall in disgust its pounding human flesh. By the way, it should be it should be human skin. You can't really pound anything in flesh, and human flesh bound books are actually a thing. Uh, they don't look like that. Uh, there's an awesome video for, from um, Ask a Mortician on YouTube where she goes to different uh, libraries looking for human, uh, human skin bound books uh, that are actually really, really fun and uh, really nice looking and they, they are a, an amazing piece of, you know, like, uh, remain conservation thing uh, uh, items uh, human remains are uh, you know they are really nice and it, they are the memories of the disease so they should be conserved and making a, bo a book out of them would be really amazing if I get 
uh, really cool tattoos one day I do want them to have the, uh, to have them preserved they they look really cool and we what are we gonna do if we read it we get a spell if we burn it I guess we get less doom if we take it there is a possibility that it can hurt us but if not you get an item to ah uh, we're just gonna take it Oh man, it did uh, damage us. <laughs> uh, grabbing a book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail driven through the cover. Uh, we get one injury and one item. We get the library book. That if we use it, we get uh, 10 experience. I don't remember if we can use it for anyone else. Oh man, we got fractured ribs. <laughs> We got one less dexterity. I guess that uh, cutting our hand with a nail broke a reef somehow. Um, surely someone else must have cut one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. I don't remember what they referred to. Uh, we'll go to the hardware shop. We're going to try to get a weapon for the funds. We are gonna get a carpenter hammer. We're gonna equip it. A small chance of recovery lost stamina after defeating an enemy. I don't remember this one. Oh cool. Uh, we're not gonna use the, the book yet. We're gonna wait until we're close to level up. And we're, right now we're broke, <laughs> but we're going to investigate Seaside. Uh, suddenly the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching. Uh, hopefully we can brace it. Yes, a success. The sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it begins. As it began, you leave the beach quickly. You get experience. If you fell on this, on that one, you get frostbite, and that really hurts. Uh, the young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies between cursing his catch. The beating movements on his arms disturb you, and also the black thing around his eyes. It's really cool. Uh, we're gonna investigate seaside again. And crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried by the, carried to the beach by waves. I think this one's a dexterity one, which got down to five, which is bad. Uh, we're still gonna do it. Yeah, it was a dex. Ah, dang it. Reaching for the body, you are attacked by several crabs that don't that don't want to share their meal. You lose two stamina. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fi fishing trip. And we're gonna investigate Seaside again. Also, I'm holding the microphone here uh, because it's easier. Um, after a long night without much sleep, you decide to go for a ride along the coast to clear your head. But it's hard not to think about the night that started everything. Behind this same wheel, driving like hell after watching your brothers in, arm get, in arms get slaughtered, and not doing a damn thing to save them. You were a coward. You get five experience, you lose one reason, but not anymore. Oh my gosh! You sleep at the night and race towards the beach. Terrified of what comes next, you investigate the beach. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The, in the ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters, had their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. Continue. 
you arrive at the water's edge breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on the board. On board. It's not the sailors. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked, you watch them sail their way out of the harbor. You are terrified at their power, but relieved that they did not drag their meat puppets with them. And we got the best ending for this one. The black beings never return, yet mothers would not let their children play on the beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves, although some claim that they see strange beings coming to the port at night. We got sorrowful saga of Moonlight Sailors and Decay. This is one's the, be the best ending. You basically just... Uh, when you throw out the nets on the water, that impedes the sailors to go out and catch whatever they were looking for. So the uh, black beings that were possessing them just left their bodies and took their boats and sailed into the sea and never returned. And again, it's the best ending. Um, we got a bunch of experience. We get, whenever you finish a mystery, you get a doom reduction. Uh, the be I think the better you do, you get more deducted. But I don't really uh, know if that's a fact. Uh, we get one reason, one stamina, and we pass one day. Allow me just a moment, you guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> and I'll be back in a second. And we're back. Okay, let me get back into my cover. I'm covered with my dinosaur blanket because it's cold in here. I'm, I'm just a baby. Okay, we solved this mystery. The old god stairs. Click here to reveal its effect. Uh, each time that you complete an investigation, uh, the old god... Uh, creates an effect on the town hopefully it's nothing to do with the water because we really need the, the water right now god damn it <laughs> contaminated water there's something wrong with tap water it's black and oily and glistening smelling like death you hope it's just a temporary issue this blocks the bath on your house and uh, makes you unable to actually get a bat and that cuts you off of a lot of recovery and um, uh, experience boost and stuff like that also there's something in here but we never get to see what it is oh that's bad and we get inside your mailbox you find a small key what is it doing here in there we take the key and it's marked here. We need this key for later. Uh, we're not gonna use the library book. We're almost at the level up. We're, we level up at 100. Again, we cannot take a bath because the water is bad now. They still didn't fix the water problem. It's black and oily and glistening. 
no way you are doing you are going to watch yourself in that so we don't get that bonus anymore oh someone is standing in the shadow watching your door can you see them he's there hi and we're just gonna do another mystery I guess uh, which one do we do first? Uh, Fear, Fear Festival or School Scissors? Uh, also, um, when mysteries are hard or you don't know them that much, uh, it's better to do them first because um, the, the enemies scale out as, uh, you know, with your doom and with the experience that you get so uh, the longer you get the harder the enemies get um, the you know the longer you take to, to solve the mysteries also hi new viewer I'm, I'm not completely sure who you are but thank you for watching and thank you for being here and na, 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 we're gonna choose a mystery to investigate we're gonna do uh, school scissors. The, um, the the best standing on on this one requires for you to fight the ghost, which is hard. Uh, oh shoot! I didn't wrote I didn't read the <laughs> the intro. Sorry. Uh, uh, basically, you one of your schoolmates got uh, it's missing. Uh, you find out her di uh, her diary. You find out that she's being chased by the by a ghost, and she was trying to banish the ghost. But uh, before she could do it, she went missing. And right now you are on, at school. You are trying to finish what she started. And yeah. <coughs> oh my gosh! Sorry. Now that was why. The school is surely quiet at this hour. Your missing friend has left. You uh, has left you a notebook. If the rumors are true, to stop the tall woman with scissors, you'll need to perform a ritual to force her material form to appear in our dimension. Accomplish accomplishing this requires first the drawing of an eldritch sigil and then the lighting of holy candles. You can only hope your friend has left them somewhere around the school. Again, she was kind, the, the friend was ready, oh, sorry, spoiler, it's a she. And the friend was ready to banish the, the, the ghost of the woman with scissors, but she disappeared and, ah, okay, yeah, the friend's diary. Uh, we go back. And we read the diary. A uh, strange tall woman has been following me all day. I don't read, I can't read what it says here. Okay, this sigil can weaken the demon for a while. Careful with the lines, it shows you what you have to do. You have to find the blessed chalk to actually do it, but it gives you the information here. Also, I've never noticed that there is no 16. Well, it technically there is. It's supposed to be down here, but you don't ever see it. Okay, uh, Mary's acting strange. I need to talk with her about, after, I need to talk with her after class. I hope she didn't attempt the ritual herself. I've hidden the candles in one of the classrooms. Tomorrow I will try to perform the ritual. And then she disappeared. So right now we need to explore the room. The, the, uh, explore the school to, uh, you know, check uh, for information. We go to the school lockers. I don't remember which one's the trap one. Oh, cool. We get a good and bad. Uh, which one's better though? Damage 4, speed 75. 
damage 4, speed 100. It's less speed and more chance to hit. So we're gonna sell the wooden bat since it makes the same amount of damage. This one's a lot. You need a tiny key to open it. I don't remember. I don't remember what you get from it. Uh, we're not gonna open this one. I it, this one hurts you. Um, yeah, we're gonna go check the school. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She carved her, uh, she carved out her own eyes. If I can see it, she cries. It can see me, right? You shudder, seeing a faint, a faint vision of Goiso reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Uh, this one is an uh, exclusive event if you use Goiso. Um, you get this event because, I mean, Goiso is using the mirrors to practically destroy reality or some shit like that. Okay, we're gonna level up before anything else happens. Uh, we get uh, job advanced to the next experience level. Choose one perk and one stat upgrade. These perks are really good. Uh, sometimes when well they are really useful. That's why I meant um, you get uh, either like. A, uh, stat levels, stat uh, upgrades or you get like specific specific uh, things to beat spe specific events. Ghost connection. Completing a mystery grants you a random spell. Um, not with him, he does, he's not really good at using spells. You can use them if you have them of course but uh, it's not really something useful for him first aid defeating an enemy regains two reason i think this one's very good because you actually can use this on you know if you find someone hurt or something and the hot pot this would be really good if he, i actually could use the bat on the house it has improved rest at home but uh, I don't really rest that much, so we're gonna go first aid, and we're gonna. We don't have that, le uh, you know. It, it gives you the option either I uh, get one level on uh, one of your skills, or regain stamina or reason, but it gives you five. I've only lost three stamina, so. And I can get one back with the bottle of water. I will just get my dexterity back from my broken ribs. And we're gonna... Oh, we're gonna lose another stamina from this event, but we're gonna resolve it. Uh, you feel something horrible is happening within the school. You must hurry and find those items. Uh, we didn't find the chalk or the holy candles here. So we're gonna go explore the school again. Uh, with the trail growing cold, it might be time for a different approach. Could a similar case have occurred in the past? A trip to the library, the, to the library might be a good idea. See, this would be a perk, uh, the perk called ca uh, paranoia. If I had been given that perk, I could use it to use this um, unknown uh, option uh, right now his knowledge is pretty it's very bad I don't know uh, I think this one just ups or doom so we're gonna do it anyway oh we got a success on the knowledge check nice a near closing time just stumble up upon a, cu a curious article on the last page of a local newspaper 
You copy the author's name along with the address before getting ready to leave. We get less doom and a little bit of experience. You found an initial additional page from your friend's diary. It, sem it seems that the blessed chalk was left on the roof. You must hurry and find it. Can we see that in the additional page? Uh, no. Uh, we're gonna go... Oh, we're gonna pick outside. <laughs> this one's fun. <laughs> we're gonna go explore the school. Hi, uh, whoever is watching. Hi, welcome to the stream. I'm playing um, World of Horror. I'm terrible at the game, so please don't be mad at it. <laughs> and yeah, I love you. Thank you. Uh, something is wrong. Instead of a clear blue sky, you see the bloated corpse of a long forgotten deity looming over the school's roof. The barrier between worlds is coming apart. You must hurry or risk being noticed by whatever other eldritch horrors still lurk there. This is Goizo. Hi, Goizo. I think that we can sneak. We're gonna try to sneak. Okay, dexterity check success. You succeeded in graving the backpack and returned to the staircase, leading back to our world. Resolve this event. You found the blessed chalk with you which you can use to draw the sigil in your ritual. You copy the sigil as best as you can on the blackboard. Hopefully it, it would be enough. Now that's not the sigil that the friend's diary has. So we're gonna change it. I think is uh, that one, and is it just that one? No, it has a line there. It's this one. That's the symbol. And we're gonna go back to the school to find the holy candles. Hopefully we still have enough time before the uh, lady shows up. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One of uh, one disturbing painting draws your attention. If we had the the art knowledge uh, perk, we could uh, resolve this a little bit better. I think this is gonna hurt us. Oh yeah. You gasp in p in pure horror. Your, the twisted faces, impossibly impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Bish. It's just a little bit of Eldritch art. Don't be dramatic about it. I mean, when, uh, when uh, you know, people used to describe impossible angles on their um, on their books, on their fiction, it was because they were lazy. They didn't want to, you know, describe a, a background. So just said the background was impossible to assimilate or it had impossible ang angles or impossible geometry like bitch just say what it is like damn that's my main beef with oh my gosh that's my main <laughs> beef with uh you know um lovecraft or people like that they just were lazy and you know we all know lovecraft was a racist asshole so Resolve this event. Oh my gosh! The sound of scissors is getting louder. You must hurry. Uh, we need to find those candles, please. You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what you could be of what could be waiting for you on the other side. This an is another Goizo specific event. Uh, one reason less. Hey, Jay, we found the candles. You found the holy candles in your friend's, in your friend's backpack. You lit them as instructed by the notebook. 
everything is ready for the ritual. So we perform the ritual. And you know, she starts banging at the window there. What? What do you want? Stop being loud. <laughs> She's nice. <laughs> you take a step back as a writhing amorphous mass slowly takes shape. Soon, it becomes a tall, woman-like creature with three faces, all connected with a white smile. Now it's your chance to fight and defeat this horror. It's also your only chance. We have... Now we're gonna take the water, we're gonna use it. Um, 15 stamina should be enough. I might die anyway. <laughs> Again, I'm terrible at this game. Twisting and twitching, the demon woman enters the classroom, cackling menacingly. Am I beautiful? Bitch, I don't know. I don't like girls. Well, I do. Sometimes. You're nice looking. I, I mean... Obviously, the three heads thing, it's a big plus for you. That that would, uh, that's honestly a turn on for me. But you know, I, I don't really see you that way. You are just a tall woman with scissors, so. Okay, we have combat here. It's uh, really complicated sometimes. <laughs> but it's uh, very easy when you are playing someone that does physical actions mostly, um, attack actions, mo offensive actions, sorry. Um, you have your defensive actions, you can do stuff to brace for you, uh, phrase yourself, you get your spiritual actions when you are facing ghosts, this is what you are supposed to do, I still don't know how to actually do them. Uh, we have the support actions, uh, I don't really remember, well I, I've never used this once again, I always use offensive actions. So we're gonna uh, prepare our attack to make sure that we hit, uh, we're gonna do a strong attack, uh, we cannot make a kick, Nora. Uh, uh, we're just gonna do it then. We're gonna save it to be faster and launch the sequence. Ow, bitch! She hit me for two. Luckily I hit her for six, so I'm totally gonna win this. We're gonna do the same sequence again. Uh, hopefully she doesn't does the thing that makes her mouth all weird. Bye, bitch! Yay, we killed the menacing woman, the scissor woman. Okay, ancient horror lies dead in the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. You find your friend gravely wounded but alive. You Oh, help him? This is a girl's uniform. Girl, you do it. Do you? You do you. If you go by him, I'll, I'll just respect your pronouns. Um, you help him and you limp away from the school as the police sirens get louder. We got spinning, chilling story of school scissors sending A. Again, the best ending. You saved your friend. You didn't die. And I only have 9 stamina and 16 reason now. I'm effed. <laughs> a scissor woman is gone for good. Or is it? You shudder. Knowing the urban legend will inspire another kid in another city to try and summon the Eldritch Bing. And we got a lot of experience, a lot of uh, doom reduction, 1 reason, 1 stamina, and 1 day past 
Okay, we're gonna de rebuild the effect of the old god. A freaky flood. Did the water level suddenly increase or is it city, the city slowly sinking? Uh, you don't really notice it, notice it here. Well, you should notice it here, but the water level does increase. It, yeah, uh, uh, normally it's like around here. Uh, and there's a beach, but right now it's up all, all the way up until uh, up on the houses. It's really cute. Uh, we're gonna go to the house. Uh, we get a small key on the mailbox and we take that. Uh, we can't see anything. Uh, the button doesn't do anything. And we have nothing to charge here, so uh, we still cannot take a bath. We cannot do it, do that anymore. Oh my gosh! Hi. And we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna do Far Out Fable of Fear Festival. Uh, why? Because we can actually rest resting here and because this one's fun um far out fable of fear festival your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival it's held every every 27 years in a small village you don't like the sound of it but your parents both agree you need a break from all the stress inside the letter there's a bus ticket What's the worst thing that could happen, you ask yourself as you, as you board the bus. Also, on all the mysteries, there's, you know, this little piece of lore. Since I've already read it before, I always tend to ignore it, so sorry for that. <laughs> Today's goal, explore the weird village. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village and the ne nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for you? A fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Whoa, judgy bitch. There's something. There's a thing called uh, degenerative. Uh, no wait, it's sarcosis. I don't remember what it's called, but you know it damages your hands. That doesn't mean that he's a monster. So, stop being such a bitchy, a judgy bitch. Uh, okay, your group has arrived in the village and is currently un unpacking at the inn, giving you some time to explore. Festival begins at the evening. Uh, we're gonna go rest at the inn, uh, because we get the level up, and the inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen any visitors in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder available of available activities lying on the table. Uh, we're gonna level up real quick because I do need the stamina. Oh man, these are really good. Fame. Uh, faster combat actions for each ally you have. Uh, ally. I don't have any allies though. Uh, Doomed already. Regain one reason for all failed event skill checks. Uh, this one's good, especially, uh, fig uh, you know, taking in note that some of his um, stats are not the best. I think I'm gonna use that one uh, because ammo stash is for ammo. I don't really have any need for it. And we're gonna do stamina. We're gonna continue. By the way, I'm doing all this with 
a broken rib <laughs> in case that you that you guys wanted to know and we're gonna do instruments dusty blah 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 we're gonna check this check out the painting oh my gosh you freeze you freeze in terror as something moves on the painting there's a hole in it are you being spied from the nearby room like ew and and this is the evening we should be going to the festival uh no we are going to the festival if you go here to the uh, staff only area either you fight the in owner or you just find a mask that can help you uh, but we're just gonna go to the festival uh, there's still some time before the festival starts the locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place these stands are already open but you can shake off the feeling something's wrong it's getting late uh, we don't really have enough money to buy souvenirs uh, we don't really enjoy the festival on this one because it just passes the time so we're gonna look for friends just stumble into your friend Fujiko hey can you spare some time with me and we are gonna accept we're gonna just take the for doom festival grounds is now open for visitors maybe you should check it out and now we have Fujiko as an additional uh, ally. Uh, she's a Sukaban girl and your kick action deals one additional damage. This is really good because you, the kick action actually takes very little time. So Fujiko looks at you waiting. Girl, I love you. And we're gonna enjoy the festival. You break into into a cold sweat when you see the street vendors' twisted grimace. You back off, wishing it was only a mask. One reason. Ah. Boo. Today's goal is learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound wakes you up. Just step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the mood the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest at the forest edge. One by one they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? I mean who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Continue. We're gonna go into the stuff only area. Ah, dang it. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, you enter the inn from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. Thinking you finally found it, you enter and scream. The perverted innkeeper, he must have seen too much. <laughs> he cute. And we're gonna. Uh, do the kick now because we can actually do two and Fujiko gives us a little bit more of a heads up with this so hopefully it's gonna do more damage let's see three health boo ain't enough uh, we're just gonna do the strong attack ow and we kill the innkeeper and pick up the Karukosa mask. I don't remember what it does. Faster spiritual actions. Uh, we're just gonna sell this one. We re don't really use spiritual actions. Uh, day to night. We should go investigate the forest though. Yay, Fujiko! Dropping three branches hang over the path, framing it in almost macabre, macabre 
way. It's almost inspiring. Get a grip! You kick on your pace and leave the menacing path. One reason less. Boo! Today's goal? Huh? Going back to the inn, you overheard to mask villagers. They are talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. You wonder what's up with that? It's not safe here. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow and you can't be too careful. Uh, we're just gonna explore the village because actually we never actually do that. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Too many seen looking masked figures block your escape. Did you serve the old ones? You could either say yes or what? We're gonna say yes! We knew it! The prophecies were true. The masked figures relax a bit, taking off their mask. We, we apologize for this, master. You get two allies and you get more doom. You get Mariah. I oh shoot. She's so cool. I've never gotten her before. One cigarette for each defeated enemy. We're gonna speak with her. Mariah gets closer. Maria. I'm Mariah. What's the difference? I'm drunk. <laughs> Should you, should we be wearing masks? It looked like everyone else is. And I'm gonna take a sippy here. Actually, I don't know if that's a hint. Oh shoot, I actually sold my mask. Whoops. Uh, we have three funds. If we get the shop option again we can maybe buy a mask and we got Ryoko plus one to weapons damage oh man I've never gotten these girls before she's super cool we spent one summer vacation in this village a few years ago Oh man, if I had chosen fame. Uh, okay, let's go to the festival. Mm. Oopa. There's still some time before the festival starts. <coughs> Oopa, pa, pa, pa. Sorry about that, guys. Um, the locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. Few stands are already open, but you can shake off the feeling something's wrong. It's getting late. We're gonna go buy souvenirs. Because we get the dog. Hi, doggo. We get the lock earrings, the ritual mask, holy candle, and milk. Uh, because of Maria's hint, we're gonna buy a pumpkin. And we're gonna equip it. So, um, why is it so quiet all of a sudden? And we're gonna go to the festival. I is that blood? Where is everybody? Ah, um, bitch, they all died. <sighs> Today's goal find the missing people. Trail of blood and sickly swelling a sickly smelling sludge leading to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest there's an answer waiting for you. Okay, we're gonna go to the forest. We don't really need to rest. We only get four actions until sunrise. So we're gonna just explore the forest. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goiso is getting closer and we get one free curse. Ah, uh, we get the curse of hunger. We get one less charisma. 
and if we weren't using the mask look like this <laughs> you get nice blood on your lips we're gonna explore the forest again walking through the woods you discover a sweater it's torn apart and covered in blood but where is the owner? oh man I didn't actually watch the TV if you watch the TV and get the notice for the missing girl when you get this event you get the option to wait for her and you get uh, you unlock the, the girl with the gun a wild beast must have killed this poor person you say a quick prayer before continuing we get l two less reason and that's how you unlock her the trees overheard block the sunlight and you began to feel gloomy ah uh, stop taking away my reason Ooh, a shape shimmers beneath the surface with a splashy sound something emerges from the murky depths it's the leech girl hi girl uh, we're just gonna oh wait uh, yeah we're just gonna kill her uh, strong attack Yay! An abandoned, fa an abandoned factory. This must be the place that took everyone. And why didn't you give me the, my cigarettes, Maria? Oh wait. Oh, we have we have nicotine rush. Oh, we got too late anyway. You're not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout. Arresting the suspects led outside, the handcuffed cult leader suddenly stops. You are too late, they say in a raspy voice. Our lord is free once more. But I didn't really took any time. Uh, continue. Later that day, after an interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the old bus, wondering what exactly happened out there. Boo! We didn't get the one that we wanted. The, be the being wants more. Ooh. Uh, knowledge is key. There's still hope. Tireless and one day. And the old god stirs. Price hike. Preparing to for the worst. People are stocking up on everything. Making it harder for you to find what you want. That means that everything is going to be more expensive on the shop. Thankfully we have everything we need. So we're just going to eat the pumpy the pumpkin mask to get one stamina I think ooh two cute inside the mailbox there you find a small key what's it doing in there and we're just gonna go uh, we're gonna use the library book and we're gonna go a uh, wordless word or household hell. I uh, work on the wordless word. Household hell is easier to, uh, you know, to just beat. And we're gonna do wordless word because we actually get the fight in this one. This one's gonna be hard. Worrying right up of a wordless word. You've got a call from your classmate's mother. With a, with a theory voice, she told you your friend had a nasty accident and it's currently awaiting an important surgery. They ask her to call you and ask to spend few evenings with them. That's weird. 
You weren't exactly in the best relationship lately, but you agreed to visit your friend starting tonight. And we get to investigate the mystery. Your classmate is, uh, is at the hospital awaiting the surgery. Go and visit them tonight. Uh, we're gonna shop for items? I don't think so. We're gonna enter the hospital. Uh, you wait patiently in the reception area. Where could your classmate, classmate be? Uh, we're gonna ask about your classmate. You don't like the nurse's weird smile. Patients waiting for a special surgery take an elevator in the corridor. So we're gonna go to corridor A. And we already got this one. Again, Goizo, it's kind of like bursting through the reality or something like that. Like, hold on girl, I'm, I'm still not even done here. Take a sippy. Um, na, 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 na. Resolve this event. Uh, upper floor is surely silent in comparison. The patients are here are getting restless. What's wrong with this place? I've been in this kind of hospital. They are designed like that. So patients that are actually in the waiting rooms uh, cannot escape that's why they are like really really hard to navigate sometimes um, but yeah they are really cool I, I love hospitals we're just gonna wait to uh, we're gonna go to check the patient room this is our classmate he um, he has a boo boo kiss it better uh, your friend is lying on the bed, <laughs> still sleeping after the surgery. Their face is almost completely covered in bandages. To sit in, sit on what must be the most uncomfort uncomfortable chair in the world. Uh, thinking how pointless it is to wait here, having nothing else to do, you decide to go and buy something to drink from the vending machine. Uh, hopefully that doesn't take out of our funds, but you know, it's the nicest, the nice thing to do. You come here, you uh, kiss your boobus, your uh, classmate boobuses. Is boobus, uh, boobu, plural boobuses, boobus. He's, he's has a, he has an ouchie, and you kiss his ouchies goodbye. Ow! Nicotine withdrawal. Walking through the hospital corridor, you're stopped by an older man with a cast on his leg. Could you help me down the stairs? Ah, yeah, we... Oh, we didn't have got an me class, so we cannot really resolve this event on the cool way. So we are just going to help this guy. Of course, it's a. Oh, I thought it was a strength uh, check, but it's a dex uh, check, and we got a success. Also, I'm a big D and D nerd, so I do say dex, perception, knowledge, charisma, strength. You know, uh, really cool D and D lore here. Uh, it takes you some time, but you successfully help the man and bring him a wheelchair. He thanks you and smile. Uh, we got an experience for that. And we got a new level for that. So we're gonna... Uh, oh, these ones are good. Pickpocket. Higher chance of finding items after combat. This one's good because there are some items that you can combine with other items that you get from enemies that give you like stronger items or there are some uh, special items that you get from uh, some uh, some enemies that uh, you know helps you get better endings and stuff. Mm. 
were probably connected to folklore, uh, folklore studies, so I really need to get better knowledge for the checks. Um, knowledge of, vari of various ritual and regional myths. Myths. Oh my god, I am drunk. <laughs> my tongue is getting a little bit, a little bit sluggish. Uh, occult signs. Small XP bonus for casting spells. Again, we don't really have spells. We don't cast spells with this guy. So, either folklore studies or pickpocket. Um, well, there's no one in chat right now, so I don't really have anyone to ask. <laughs> either pickpocket or folklore studies. I think we're gonna do folklore studies. Oh shoot! Uh, select a stat. We're gonna do reason because it's getting dangerously low. Oh wait. Um, yeah, my mom just got here. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, this is it for this part of the stream I might stream a little bit later um, or tomorrow but yeah thank you everyone who actually came here um, I'm gonna try to save this if not I'll just leave it like this and thank you so much for watching this was Javier I'm your internet friend if you came here just go subscribe to Jojo has fun uh, go check out uh, momcat dot uh, I actually don't ha don't know the link No Estoy grabando algo Ahorita voy And thank you for watching uh, Hopefully we'll get to see uh, uh, To see each other soon And thank you Goodbye And now to stop the stream and now to stop the recording.